ongoing government shutdown is taking an increasing toll on federal workers here in South Florida. For the first time in history, U.S. Coast Guard service members were not paid. Tonight, we're hearing from the wife of one of them. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live at the Coast Guard station in Dania Beach with what she had to say. Joan. Well, the Coast Guard is the only branch of the military not getting paid because they fall under Homeland Security. But while the shutdown is going on, Coast Guard's still going out to sea, preventing illegal immigration, helping with drug seizures, and helping with search and rescue missions. But this is really taking a toll on the hundreds of families located here in South Florida. They just don't know how much longer this can go on. The scariest part of it is that there's no there's no end in sight. Like many Coast Guard spouses, Megan Cobb is living in limbo with no paycheck under the government shutdown. Her husband is an electronics technician training in California. So there's no moral support. There's not really any financial support other than what the community decides to pull together unless you want to take out a loan. The head of the Coast Guard told families in a letter, I recognize the anxiety and uncertainty this situation places on you and your family. He goes on to say the Coast Guard Relief Fund has received a $15 million donation from USAA Insurance. And we are confronting this challenge together. You are not and will not be forgotten. With no money coming in, Feeding South Florida is helping Coast Guard families with food from their 72,000 square foot warehouse. Their pantries are open and they are organizing mass distributions at several sites. They're struggling. I mean, uh, a lot of folks really don't don't have the, the, the resources or the, or the income to, to really pay for anything, um, especially food. And food is one of those things you really can't go without. These cans I collected for the hurricane threat last year. We ran into Bonnie Goldberg at the warehouse where she was donating food that may end up on the table of a federal worker not getting paid. There's no productive reason for this um, government shutdown to continue. Megan Cobb said she feels caught in a Washington tug of war. If you want to help, reach out to your representatives, reach out to Congress, make a voice, let us be heard. We don't care what your decision is at this point, but we shouldn't be pawns in your political game. That's what we're hearing from a lot of federal workers urging the public in general to just reach out to your local Congress people, tell them the effect this is having on the workers here in South Florida. And there will be a Feeding South Florida uh, event tomorrow for the Coast Guard, and that will take place in Opelika. Reporting near the Coast Guard station in Dania Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.